feel like a bronze and glowy goddess. Yes, this is yes. What is up guys? Christmas is over and it's almost time for New Year's. My New Year's resolution is to stop spending so much money on beauty and makeup products. But I did not make that resolution before I bought all these new items. Fortunately for you, I'm going to go through the new items that have come out recently and show you what they are, what they look like, and how they work. This is the first impressions. I've actually not tried on any of these new products. I am so excited to use them. I've been seeing them sitting there forever, and I'm like, oh, I'm dying to get my hands on them, which is really good for me because I need to practice self-control, seeing as how I made that New Year's resolution. You guys hold me to that, okay? Wait, 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 wait. I mean, don't hold me too close to that because I mean, there might be like a really amazing thing that comes out that I have to have, right? Okay, so I'm gonna be going through three, this is six, three new products that have come out very recently. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about them, but I do think that they are all really interesting and good products to try out. So I'm going to be going through Becca's new light shifting concealer, which I'm stoked about. I have no concealer on right now, and they came out with a duo set, so I bought the duo. It comes with their under eye brightening corrector, which I've never tried, and then it comes with their new light shifter concealer, which is, so it's supposed to blur without using lots of heavy pigment. It has hyaluronic acid in it and like little bits of crystals in there, and it's supposed to sort of just like shift the light a little bit. So. We're gonna give this a test. Then I have this amazing new brand slash product, which is a brand called Vesca, and they have something called their Soft Matte Bronzing Powder. I got it in two different shades. They have multiple other shades, but um, they weren't for my skin tone. But what I like about this brand so far is that, that they have more bronzers for different skin tones. So it's not just your basic one skin tone, which is, Awesome! I'm a sucker for bronzer. I love, love, love bronzer. And by the way, these are vegan and cruelty free. I mean, I'm stoked about this. Then I'm going to be trying out these two different sort of blush combo from Kaleido Cosmetics. It is their Glow Blush, which is like an illuminating blush, almost like a dupe for NARS. And then this little stick, which is a multi-purpose highlighting crayon, but it's kind of like a pinkish red shade. So I'm gonna see if maybe it could be like a highlighted blush too. So I might just have like super, super glowy cheeks. Who knows? To top that all off, I am trying out Buxom's new Extrovert Mascara. I am really excited about this. I've seen a couple pictures. I've seen a couple videos. I really want to see if this really makes my lashes look as good as it has so far in some of the promos that I've seen. I'm not even going to bore you guys with the subscribe and like and all that jazz. We're just going to get straight into it. Let's go. Okay, so I've only applied foundation. Nothing else. So I'm gonna be doing the concealer how I normally would do. I take a brush first, and then I go in with the sponge. Whoa, yes. This is a massive sponge. And it's massively amazing. So this under eye brightening corrector says that it's the first of its kind, and it brightens and evens your skin tone. It's infused with ultra fine light reflecting illuminators. Hmm. I'm kind of excited. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in at this point so we can get up close and personal. Here we are, up close and personal. So this is what the corrector is. Tiny little pot. Looks like you'll either have to use your fingers or a brush. So it seems pretty thick. Let's see. Little bit goes a long way, guys. Whoa. I mean... Holy moly. I'm gonna blend this out a bit now. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Well, I mean, do we need to go on? This is already beautiful. I am loving this already. It completely eradicated the dark circles. Now, what I will say is that I notice a little bit of some pearlescent shimmer in there. It's not glitter. It's not like crazy shimmer you would put on your eye, but but up close, you can definitely see a little bit of shimmer in the light reflecting particles. 
which I'm okay with. I mean, it's actually reflecting light with those little particles and brightening the area. All right, now I'm even more excited to pull out the light shifting concealer. So this is the packaging and it's pretty. It's really pretty. I do like this. I think that um, the color is looking spot on for me as well. All right, here we go. It's coming out on the sponge. I'm going to apply this exactly where I would normally put my concealer. So let's give this a whirl. Wow, this feels like cooling, almost like it has like aloe in it or something. It's very refreshing. I'm gonna go back through with my magic sponge and I'm gonna blend this out. Okay, I feel like this concealer is gonna be fabulous if you have crepiness, lines, or wrinkles, or you normally have a little bit of wrinkles underneath your under eye, which I always do. So I would normally never recommend for someone who does have like more wrinkles or crepiness on their skin to apply anything with like a pearlescent type shimmer because it can sink into those areas, but this is really light reflecting. It's very brightening, it's very fresh, it's very awake, and holy cow, it had like this refreshing, cooling feeling. Oh, okay, now I see. It says it is crystallized licorice and green tea, refreshing to the touch. Okay, I am already freaking loving it. Okay, now that my under eyes are illuminated and fresh and awake, I need a little bit of warmth to my face. That's where the bronzer comes in. So I have two different shades here. I have the Kissed by Santorini powder, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous, like perfect bronze, not too dark, very uh, simpatico with my skin tone. And next I have Kissed by Diani. So this one has more of like a red terracotta tone to it, but um, I was thinking maybe I could use this as a very, very subtle to light contour. So I'm gonna go through with the Diani first. By the way, this powder feels like silk, and it is like silk when you touch it. So this is the Diani. It's so soft and it just, it, it feels like silk, honestly. And then this is Santorini. Santorini. So I'm going to use a dual ended fiber brush to just sort of hollow out the cheeks for contour. I think I need to play around with this one a little bit more because of the red base that's inside of it, but I really do enjoy it, and I actually feel like this color would be really, really, really awesome for summertime for me. Okay, so I just evened out both sides now so they look somewhat similar, and I'm gonna go in and use this just as a regular bronzer, the Santorini. Oh, it's just, it's very like effortless. It's so soft and silky and just blendable. I mean, I'm barely, barely holding this. It's so stunning. It's just the most blendable bronzer. Oh my gosh, I could just keep using this forever and ever and ever and then I would look like an Oompa Loompa, but it's so pretty. So far, I am in love with my makeup today and I need to find somewhere to go. Okay, let's step this up a notch. I need a little bit of flush to my cheeks. I need to look alive. This is the Glow Blush in the shade Rose Gold. They're cute little tiny compacts. This is the shade I have. I don't know if the camera can really pick up, but there's like an illuminating quality in there. There are like little tiny flecks of stuff. It's almost like NARS blush. I'm also gonna try out their Lumi Light Sticks. I got the shade Nuclear. It almost is just iridescent in nature. Kaleido Cosmetics is not a new brand and these are not new products, but they're new to me, so I figured, you know what, I haven't tried them out yet. They've been sitting here waiting for me to do a review on, so let's go in and just add them into this video. So let's go through with this blush. Woo. Okay, it's nice. It's very... It's very subtle. It's nothing like too crazy. I'm not getting all like nutso with the shimmer on my cheeks. So I'm going to use another dual ended fiber brush and we're going to swirl this around and see what happens. 
Ooh. Oh, look at that. That's like a very glowy look. And it's actually quite pretty. I do like it. So you might be seeing me wear that in some upcoming videos. Okay, so I went through and actually used the bronzer as a little bit of eyeshadow and my highlight as a little bit of eyeshadow. And now we're going to get into the mascara. I'm gonna do one side so you can see the difference between both of my eyes. This one says it has extra volume, extra lift, extra length, and yeah extra everything I guess. So this is supposed to be an X shaped brush. So this is what it looks like. And everything that I saw on it says to roll it a little bit. So start at the root and roll. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start here. Okay, here we are. Now, it's not terrible. So it's not terrible. Obviously, you can notice the difference between this eye and this eye very clearly. Clearly, this one obviously has more mascara and it's a little bit fuller than this one. Would I say that this is extreme? Um, no. It definitely does do a little bit of lift and volume and there is a difference. However, for the price, I feel like I have other mascaras that do an exact same similar, if not somewhat better job for half the price or even less than half the price of this. Um, but I'm gonna go through and do the other eye, give this its full uh, use. So beautiful. What I will say after doing both of these is on the corner of my eyelashes, they tend to turn down and it's really hard for me to get a mascara that lifts them up in the corner as well. And this one actually did a really great job of lifting the corners and keeping them up. Um, but on the whole, it's actually a pretty good mascara. I just not sure quite about the price yet. So this is my final look. I just added a little bit of ColourPop lipstick and a little Patrick Ta Silky Lip Cream to like finish this whole thing off. But I actually literally loved everything I tried. I think that this concealer is gonna be my new holy grail jam. I love it. I'm gonna keep testing with it. I'm gonna keep trying it, let you guys know. But for right now, I think this is amazing and I am going to keep using this combo because this is stellar. Also, the bronzer, oh my gosh. Yes, yes, and yes. I don't see how you can't go wrong with this. This is also going to be my new favorite bronzer. I'm just shoving everything out of the way in my collection right now to make room for these new bronzers. Holy stinking cow. I love the way they package this. The formula is incredible. It feels like silk on your skin. Um, I'm gonna mess around more with the Kaleido Cosmetics. Like I can see in my viewfinder right now how amazingly glowy and gorgeous this Lumi Light Stick is. I think it's phenomenal and amazing. And I love both of these and you just can't go wrong with cruelty vegan free products right now. So, so leave me a comment down below. Which one of these products do you guys wanna try? Does everything look yuck or does it look amazing? I really wanna hear what your thoughts are on all of the products that I tried today. Definitely hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video if you liked any of these products. Check out my Instagram so you can vote in my polls. I'll give you sneak peeks of my videos that are coming up and absolutely hit the notification bell so you can be reminded the next time I upload a video. I try to do around every four to five days, but sometimes there's a bonus video, so don't forget to hit that bell. Thanks so much for watching in 2019, guys, and hopefully I will see you in 2020. Bye.